Hi guys! So I wanted to do a little quick video about some of my skincare routine and go over the masks that we have with Perfectly Posh. So before I mask, I wash my face really good so that I can get actually to my skin instead of on top of my makeup. So I use the BFF. It's an exfoliating face wash with peppermint, grapefruit, and aloe vera. I really like it. I use it all the time. Now we have... Here. Start with our bigger masks, the Smashing Good Pumpkin. It is a detox body mud and you can use it all over your body. It has salicylic acid for your acne, so this is really good. Witch Hazel and Pumpkin draw impurities. It also has the Detox Clay, the Kaolin. This is really good. I didn't think I was going to like it and I didn't buy it for the longest time because I don't really enjoy pumpkin, but this actually smells pretty good. And I do enjoy it. I have them all. Gotta collect them all. This is another one of the bigger ones. It's called Apricots Overnight. <clears throat> this, I do use it before bed. You leave it on. It doesn't leave your pillow greasy or anything. Um, it smells good like apricots, but it's not a strong smell. It's very light. Comes in three ounces. Remarkably rich overnight face mask for intense moisture and it does feel really nice like when I um, rinse my face in the morning before I wash it again and then put on makeup it feels really smooth and like like my skin is new this one's currently in our retired section it's called I'm shrinking hi kitty no kitty that's fat 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 excuse him he just wants to get pampered that I'm shrinking. Um, you can use it um, in your T-zone area, wherever you have big pores. I like to multi-mask with this one. Put on more than one mask at a time. Pore reducing spot treatment. So I have really big pores right here and on my nose. I just have big pores in general. That's I usually break up out on my cheeks. So I use this one. Okay, fat fat. This is the one I use with it. This is the Detox um, Cackle Spackle. It has activated charcoal in it. Help draw all the impurities. Um, I really like this one because when you put it on, you can actually, when it dries, you can see each pore, what, like where it's pulling out oil and makeup and dirt and stuff. It's really cool. Five to ten minutes. What for this one? It's 18. This was a Halloween exclusive from not last Halloween, but Halloween 2015. And everyone loved it so much that it stayed. <coughs> the Giving Me Life face mask. It is tightening and brightening. It's also really great for acne because it has tea tree oil in it. It says thin layer, avoid eye area, 5 to 10 minutes. Um, tea tree. As you can see, I'm almost out of this one. It has um, grapeseed oil, lemon which helps brighten, sunflower, olive, it's really good. It is a strong smell, so if you don't like the smell of tea tree, then you won't really like the smell, but it's totally worth it if you can stand the smell. It does tighten and brighten, believe me. I've used this for samples and I still have quite a bit. The blueberry mask, if you have dry skin, or you need some nourishment. This also has anti-aging properties with the blueberries and the antioxidants that it has in it. This one's good for you. It is made with yogurt and actual little blueberry pieces. I don't know if you can see it. Little blueberry pieces. It's pretty cool. I don't know how people do that in their video where they're like, focus, focus. Anyways, I'm turning blueberry. Your ticket to smooth skin. It's like a Willy Wonka theme. I love their packaging. It's so cute. And then, these are some of the older ones. This one's up. Okay. This one's current. The Stay Gold. I just have this one in the old tub. And now it comes in a tub like this. It is hydrating. It has turmeric in it. Turmeric. It can actually reduce the facial hair on your on your face. 
like if you have peach fuzz and stuff that's really good for that um this helps if you have sunspots because it has lemon and honey in it also so honey hydrates and then the lemon helps brighten and evens your skin tone so if you have a lot of sunspots this would be good for you stay gold and it's a yellow color I like the way it smells <clears throat> that one it doesn't really dry hard so a lot of people are like this feels weird it's like it's not drying that's normal with this one Kale Face is older too. Um, it kind of got replaced by the blueberries one, but this has spinach, arugula, kale, rosemary, parsley. Not rosemary, parsley. And it smells like cut grass, not kidding you. But it's very hydrating. Um, it's supposed to help reduce redness. It can also cause your face to get red when you're using it, because it did with me. Because the kale and clay doesn't make my face red, um, but this one did, which is supposed to help reduce redness. So. That just goes to show you that everybody's skin's different, um, but it, it goes away. In the clear, this one is a classic. This is what made me fall in love with posh face masks. If you have acne, this is good for it. It is a very thick, very thick clay. And I love it. Now I got it on my finger. What? Okay, just a minute. And lastly, the Ritual Consultant Mask. This one is only for consultants. It is a nice pink color. It is hydrating and detoxing, deep cleansing. I really like this one. I have two of them because I traded someone else for theirs because I liked it so much. That I deserve it. So when, when you become a consultant, you get this in your kit. It's like a... It's a ritual where everyone gets it and then you post your picture and you're like, yay. So it's neat to be part of this community and get some fun exclusive stuff. That's all for my face masks that are currently available. So, and then after you mask, you should always moisturize, especially the detoxing ones that have the kaolin clay and the cackle spackle. Sometimes I was holding my phone up with that. Sometimes um, they can make you feel dry after you detox because they've pulled moisture and stuff out of your face that can cause you to be oily, your natural oiliness. So this is my go-to for in the morning because it's a citrusy, it's bright, it has caffeine in it, so it tightens and brightens. Citrus. This is the nine day. It has lavender in it, so I usually use it at night. Um... I've been having a runny nose, so I'm constantly like going like this. So I, my nose kind of got chapped. So I've been using this. Um, olive oil, lavender, and aloe vera. A lot of people are like, oil, I don't want to put anything with oil on my face. But it actually really does help if you have oily skin. And it doesn't affect me. Making me a more oily. So, guess we're going to go shopping. Bye.